Okay, I'm going on to Reddit, the worst website on the internet, but there are sometimes funny things on certain subreddits. Today, specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at Am I the Asshole? That should be a good time. Am I the asshole for telling my sister I am not the golden child, I just wasn't a pain in the ass? My sister is a damn mess. She was a lot growing up each week. Some issue would appear. The could be as simple as a tantrum or mom, dad getting a call from the school. I'm short, she was a lot. Huh? People on Reddit, if you're gonna post your shit, spell correctly, please. Not to mention therapy for her basically drained the family dry. I was given more freedom since my parents... I was given more freedom since my parents trusted me. I could go to the mall by myself and they knew they wouldn't get a call from security about stealing that happened before. So they trusted me and gave me some freedom to do stuff. I have literally watched her get a chance to prove our parents can trust her and then fuck it up. Our relationship isn't good. My dad gave me his old car for my last year of college. I need it for an internship. My sister made a comment that of course the golden child gets a car. I snapped and told her I'm not the golden child. I just wasn't a pain in the ass that the family was drained themselves dry for her multiple times and to keep her mouth shut. She called me a jerk and ran to her room. First of all, it doesn't matter if you're the golden child or not, learn to fucking spell, cause that was painful to read. This sounds like somebody who's like, like two younger siblings. We are only getting one side of the story, that is the case for everything on Reddit, but I think that this person is not the asshole. Me and my sibling, we get along now way better than we did when we were younger. Growing up, it was it was whatever, you know, we we interacted and stuff as siblings. We we pushed each other's buttons a little bit. If you are a pain in the ass, if it's a difficult thing to let you do stuff because you're always getting a call, your parents are always having to deal with shit, of course you're not gonna get the freedoms. I mean, like that's just I that just seems natural. I don't think you even have to be that smart or that old to figure that shit out. Like it sounds like your family's fucking bankrupt because you had so many problems you have to go to therapy so often. <laughs> And if that's the case, then I think it's it makes sense. It's understandable that the families may be like, okay, we're gonna give this kid the car because we've spent all of your money on your therapy. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Am I the asshole for asking my neighbor not to send her kid over if he's sick? Oh, this is a long one. Sometimes I help my neighbor Jessica by caring for her five-year-old while she works from home with a one-year-old. I genuinely enjoy her kiddo, Jack. I also work from home and have a three-year-old, Joe, so the boys are little buds. We've been neighbors since 2018 with zero history or even minor issues. We aren't having game night together, but we did celebrate each other's pregnancies, survive the pandemic, we do attend kids' birthday parties, and as I mentioned, I watch Jack occasionally. When he comes over, I watch him for free. I provide food and pay for any activities we do. Most recently, I took Jack with us to an indoor gym. I usually keep him three to five hours. I've never asked for money and she's never offered. This isn't necessarily important, but it's not paid childcare. I just want to make that clear. Well, here's the problem. Almost every time Jack comes over, he's sick, coughing, dripping nose, like no possible way Jessica didn't know. I fucking hate sick kids. I have children, when they're sick, they're disgusting, ravenous little goblins that can stay away from me. I, I hate sick children. <laughs> we tell people, hey, the kids are sick, don't come over. I'm not even touching them, okay? Like, you don't wanna come over. I don't want them interacting with anybody because sick children are disgusting. So previously, her baby had a diagnosis of hand, foot, mouth the day after Jack had been here. There's no way her baby showed zero signs prior to diagnosis. I can, I can confirm there's no way that there were no symptoms before this. Multiple times after watching Jack, my whole house has been sick. We've missed work, we've had to spend money on doctors and medications, and we missed Thanksgiving with my husband's family. Anyway, I've not said anything until today. I know, I know, but she's my neighbor and it felt awkward, so it didn't go well. I'm excited, oh, here it goes. Below is the conversation and Reddit, I'm genuinely confused. Am I the asshole here? Me. Hey girly, I have, should I do a voice for this? No, yes, no, yeah. Hey girly, I have to have a conversation with you and it feels a bit awkward. Four out of the past five times that we have watched Jack, our entire home has gotten sick. A couple times Joe has even asked Jack if he was sick again. I totally get how hard it is with the kids in school and everything else, but this is now the second or third time that one or both of us have missed work, had to pay for doctor's appointments, and we've been generally, generally miserably ill. I know this is not your intent, but on more than one occasion, Jack has been over when he is obviously ill. And I just have to ask that if we are to watch him again, that he is either healthy or you are upfront about anything that may be going on. When he came over last week and we went to the gym, he was coughing and he had mucus dried on his face. I did ask him and he told me he'd been sick for several days. 
Prior to that, it was the exposure to hand, foot, and mouth. It's just so frustrating to want to hang out with Jack and want to help you, but end up in a bad position nearly every single time. We adore you guys and don't want our relationship to be damaged in any way, but we can't keep getting sick. Jessica. I honestly find this very offensive and I believe our friendship has ended. <laughs> There's nothing to question, end of story. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna say you got off so lucky that this is what ended the friendship. What would happen is in a couple of years, the kids would be hanging out. Your son would do something so minor, not even on the radar of anything bad. It would just piss this person off and she'd be suing your ass off. This woman would sue you. She would she would write a Reddit post about you. You'd get canceled. Your name would be plastered all over the news and billboards. Who knows? Maybe you became racist overnight and you didn't even know it. I'm telling you right now, you you have been saved. This has saved you. Jessica is fucking crazy and you saved yourself from a crazy bomb, okay? <laughs> Man, these, some of these are good. I fucking, I fucking love Reddit. I hate Reddit, but I love Reddit. Am I the asshole for refusing to be maid of honor over a bridesmaid, causing her to get fired? What? The people in this story are my best friend, Jane, her brother, Elliot, and his girlfriend of two years, Kathy. Jane is marrying her fiance, Tom, in July, and she asked me to be her maid of honor. This was sort of expected as Jane is essentially a sister to me. I was surprised, however, that she asked her brother's girlfriend, Kathy, to be a bridesmaid. Jane later confided that Kathy had kind of pressured her into it and she had done it to make Elliot happy. Okay, so Jane's brother's girlfriend pressured Jane. I understand. The issue is Kathy hates me, like seriously hates me. She blames me for all the issues she has with Elliot and Jane's parents and for her not having a better friendship with Jane. She also thinks I'm trying to steal Elliot from her. I'm not, but also cannot handle whenever he and I disagree on anything and will go way overboard defending him and arguing with me. I was determined to put this all aside for Jane though. Kathy sounds like a bitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna be straight up. We haven't got to the end. Kathy sounds like a bit of a bitch. This was actually not going too badly, but last weekend we went to a bridal shop to choose bridesmaid dresses Jane mentioned that she wanted me and Elliot to walk down the aisle together and Kathy lost it. She called me desperate, crazy, a pick me, a fake, fat, and a bunch of other things. Looking back, I probably should have said more than I did, but in the moment, all I could see is, uh, I could see how everyone was looking at her and I didn't want them looking at me the same way. So I literally just said, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. Either she's out or I am and picked my stuff up and left. <laughs> Yo, that's incredible to just be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck her or fuck me, but we're out. Like one of us needs to fucking leave. I apologized to Jane for the drama and offered her a long weekend of babysitting and some flowers to make up for it. And she accepted, so we're okay now. Because of this, Jane has said that Kathy can't be a bridesmaid anymore because she wants me as a maid of honor. This has caused issues with Kathy and Elliot by extension. Both Elliot and Kathy have apologized and said Kathy will behave better for all of the wedding events, but I'm not willing to budge. Jane's mother and my mother both think I should drop the ultimatum and I don't want to make things hard on Jane, so I'm rethinking. But I know there's other things she will try to cause issues with me over, and I just don't know how long I can keep being the bigger person with her. So am I the asshole for causing this drama? <sighs> this one is a little bit tough. I think, it, so I think in the moment you were able to express how you felt, and you did it like perfectly. Like you did it in the perfect way, you left, you didn't cause any extra drama, you just said, fuck this, I'm out. I think it's hilarious that her boyfriend has to promise that she will be on her best behavior. I'm assuming this is a grown ass woman. <laughs> She needs her boyfriend and other people around her to be like, don't worry, she will behave. <laughs> because it's your best friend and because there's other family involved, there's a lot of other people who, who are involved in this. It's your best friend's wedding, it's not your wedding. You might have to suck it up. That doesn't mean you have to put up with everything, but set some boundaries, maybe get back into it. Say like, yeah, you know what? I, I will come back, she can be a bridesmaid. If there are any more problems, the bridesmaid who, Kathy, who is a bitch, I will reinforce, she sounds like a bitch. I don't let her know that, but just let 
the 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 actual bride to be let your friend jane know that you're leaving if there's any more problems am i the asshole for chasing my fiance's mother out of my house i 27 female am getting married to the love of my life 31 male we've been together for four years his family never accepted me his mother spread rumors about me compared me to his brother's uh, ex-girlfriend his mother brought the girl up in conversation stating that she was so close to ex-girlfriend. She spent nearly two weeks in my home. She didn't pay a dime for the duration of her stay. What drove me over the edge was she told me what I can and cannot do in my own house. She refused to eat what I made her for dinner and she tried telling my fiance what he can eat and what we must prepare. Mind you, she is on a vegetarian diet but doesn't buy her own food. <laughs> I called my fiance and told him to get his mother out of the house or I will tell her myself to leave. His mom left it at 10 p.m. with all her stuff. Am I the asshole? Nah, you're good. Am I the asshole for telling my dad I don't care about his wife and her kids? Okay, this one, this one's a big one. We're gonna, we're gonna go through the big chungus here. My dad, Joel, got married to his wife, Helen, when I was 12. Helen has two daughters, Ella, 25, and Mary, 23. My parents share me and my older sister. Okay, wait, were the, were her kids 25 and 23 when they got married? How old are they in relation to you now? Is that how old they are now? I, I don't know. The older sister, Jessa, and we were raised between both parents. I'm now 28 and currently expecting my first baby and decided to have a nesting party. Basically a pre-baby prep party, assemble the baby furniture, deep clean the house, prepare freezer meals, decorate the nursery, etc. It was supposed to be a small group with my mom, my two sisters, a brother-in-law, two close friends, my husband, and me. A couple days before my party, my dad called asking when I was going to invite Helen and her daughters. I was caught off guard because I didn't know he knew about the party, so I told him it was a small party and I had already assigned tasks. I promised him I would do something bigger after my son is born. He started to guilt trip me on how Helen was excited because this is her first grandchild. I finally gave in and figured I would find something for them to do. The day of the party arrived and everyone shows up. Everyone starts to do task. Quick explanation, I'm a very picky eater, so my mom and I cooked the food, my husband and brother-in-law assembled, and my friend decorated, leaving my friend Susan, my sister Jessa, with the three to clean and organize. Everything went smoothly in my eyes. Everyone ate, we took some pictures, and everyone went home. The party was on Saturday, and on Sunday night, my dad calls me upset because he felt I should have given them a more honorable task than cleaning. <laughs> When I pointed out that he forced me to have them, I didn't really want them there. He got more upset and accused me of being difficult. He started telling me I need to fix my attitude or my baby will miss out on family. I lost my temper and yelled at him that Helen and her daughters are not my family and mean nothing to me or my child and told him if he felt that way, he can have no grandchild in his life. I explained the situation to my husband and he feels I may have been too harsh because in Helen's culture, family tends to be overly attached. I feel how I feel, but at this point, I just don't know if I'm being an asshole. Uh, uh. You've had a relationship with this person since you were 12 and you're now 28. These people have been in your life for 16 years? and you don't have a connection with them. I, this is weird to me to not even have that relationship with the, the step parent or the step siblings. I also feel like I, I, I understand like your dad putting you in the situation where you're inviting people you didn't want. I think in that situation, like in general, that situation is you're not the asshole for being upset about that, but it's just strange to me that you wouldn't have already like had that position of like, inviting these people. I, 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 I just don't get it. I don't get it, but that's just me. I genuinely did have a good time on Reddit. Usually I come here and just get upset and angry, but I genuinely had a good time today. So I think, not gonna promise anything, but we might do more of these. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, let me know and uh, we'll do some more Reddit React stuff. Maybe I'll even get my wife involved. Who knows? Maybe she'll wanna sit beside me or, or behind, I don't know. There's not a lot of room here, but I'll figure it out.